man, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. G Max Zilla here, man. And guys, man, I'm gonna go over some real cool, real informative, <laughs> some real good information, man. Some tips and tricks that I use to complete the new crisis event after effects studies, man. I just completed all the studies, and I'm gonna let you guys know how I did it and or how me and some randoms did it. And hope this helps you out, man. Guys, man, like. The video if you find it useful um the more likes the video gets the better it does on youtube subscribe to the channel if you're new and yeah guys man so let me just start off by saying this one was tough man this in my opinion guys you can let me know in the comments but in my opinion this was like twice as hard as nightmare fog eclipse um the other one before that with the canister drops you had to drop them canisters down and all that this was like the most difficult one thus far, man. But let me know in the comments how you guys would rate this crisis event compared to the ones in the in the past, man. But to me, man, th them this crisis event to me makes them other crisis event look like a walk in the park, fam. They make it look like a piece of cheesecake. You know what I'm saying, fam? This was tough. But guys, man, I got some really cool tips on this one, man. This might help you guys out, man. Let me know in the comments if it does. And um. Yeah, man, so I'm going to go over Bound to Kill, Remarkable Exception, Blind Test, and Contact Free. Some good tips that I use to get um, the studies complete. And I'll do a separate video, actually, on this Vaporized. So I'll, I'll do that separately, man. But that's basically how you unlock the React gear, the new harness, which I got my own, own kind of opinions on that as well. But I'll go through that later, that Repulsion Harness. Um, I'll go through that in a, in a separate video after this, but guys, man, like, comment, and subscribe if you're new, and here we go. Alright, guys, so the very first thing that actually helped me out, and I did this, like, already nine, ten times, and it works every single time, is when I use gridlock, and I, once we figure out a path from the sphere to the next airlock, um, I drop these track stingers um, every so often along the path that we decide that we're going to take, which the the most simplest pass, less turns, kind of straight shots, if you will. Um, we pretty much, I, well, I since I was gridlock, I laid those down. Also, when I ran out, I went and got another recharge or, a re yeah, the recharge. With my ability and then you can lay out even more of these track stingers because that i'm telling you fam guys man i haven't found any way that works just as good as this because when it gets going and you're moving really slow the track stingers keep those arcans away at bay they slow them down and you can really get rid of them so also as you notice we also have jaeger in the building come on fam <laughs> and jaeger put out his ads system right there on the same path with the track stingers and i'm showing you guys this is like one of my last runs that i was able to get the study complete as you can see right here um yeah track stingers putting in work you know what i'm saying fam uh, my LMG's putting in work, you know what I'm saying, guys? <laughs> so, that's what we did on this run right here, man. I mean, it just, it, to me, it worked, fam. I mean, I just, I just go by what's working, and, and that works, man. I did it like 10, 11 times, like I said. Even after I got the study done, I was helping other randoms get the studies done, and kind of had a blast doing that as well. So, um track stingers and lay out all the track stingers you got and then go find other recharges and do that also i will shut the door after we get through like one section no matter what map it is you know what i'm saying a building is a building a house is a house as soon as you move out of that area i would shut the freaking door you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm like i don't want no issues man because you know you're moving really slow with that nucleus man so sign of relief once you get inside the airlock or what i call the second airlock sign of relief you know what i'm saying guys um and that's pretty much the first part of the of the whole thing that's like the first part is getting that nucleus as slow as you're walking to the second airlock 
limitations with the sphere when you're holding the sphere you cannot climb obstacles you have to go this way like see like normally you would be he would be able to like hop across but you can't do that with the sphere um that's one limitation limitation number two you walking slow as hell so there's that <laughs> and also the longer you hold it i'll show that in a, in a clip here in a second the longer that you hold it um at some point it starts to get really hard to see it impairs your vision it gets really black kind of like when you get hit by an apex projectile it looks like that you know what i'm saying fam but it doesn't do damage as far as i can tell it doesn't do any damage it just makes it hard for you to see so yeah i mean you can always drop it matter of fact that's what we did a lot too guys we dropped it once because we was all on mics we was all mic'd up we was on comms so once somebody said hey um i can't I can't freaking see fam you know what i'm saying guys um they pretty much he pretty much dropped it as you can see and we cleared the area really good and then we picked it up again another thing to notice too um we would just go ahead and use i mean just to, just to make it easy for example like you see the hole we made right here just so you can get so you can freaking see it better you know what i'm saying guys and because you got three of those to do so you really got to pace yourself now this one we got pretty lucky um because that mark that arc spine was right here as soon as we came out and make a left so basically you just gotta find the easiest route because like i said you're you got some limitations like you can't hop over obstacles and things like that so we pretty much just you know beforehand while we're clearing the area we made it to where it, it was really simple to get from point a to point b or get from arc spine to arc spine so a lot of apexes guys apexes will come out the woodworks honestly fam when we saw apexes or we heard that noise like an apex is coming we, we dropped the ball, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just saying, guys. We we dropped it, and we all helped each other out. Teamwork is king. And just like right here, we dropped it. Take everything out. Take Apexes out. Take take them all out there. You know what I'm saying, guys? <laughs> so, I mean, teamwork, I mean, this, I will say this, man. This will make you and the team work like, like the A-team. Like, I don't know, fam. Like, you know what I'm saying, fam? Like, like uh, the Golden State Warriors type fam. Team, teamwork, King. Y'all, y'all know. All right, y'all know what I'm saying, man. I'm just saying, guys, man. Y'all, we. This one makes you work with your team, man. You cannot do this alone. You will be like, you, you, you will, you will get it, man. If y'all working together, guys. That's all I'm gonna say, man. Let's try to use some references and whatnot. Man. All right. <laughs> so that being said, man. Um, now at some point. You will get, let's see, yeah, this is one we got, yeah, so once you get all three arc spines um, destroyed, you slowly got to make your way to the container box or containment box. I call it the container box, the, basically the container, and drop it there. So you will actually get all of these done. You will get this one done, which is you got to use the death marker, as you've seen. You got to basically... Whoever's doing it, you can do it as a squad, or if you actually are holding it, it doesn't matter on all four of these. Or actually these three, the first three, anybody, that's what I noticed, fam. Because, like, when I wasn't holding the sphere or the nucleus and they was working on this study, for example, um, using it to kill any elites, um, I got the points as well. So it don't really matter. So you get that one done doing this method. Um... You know what I'm saying, fam? And then you'll also get blind tests done, which blind tests, um, you know what I'm saying, fam? The only one, the only way to do that one is you have to use the same operator. So that's just working with your teammate and being like, I'm going to do it the whole way. From the time you pick it up to taking it to the container box at the next one, um, as long as it's the same operator, then you all get the points. Uh, so yeah, that's basically that's basically how you do the whole thing right there, fam. You know what I'm saying, guys? It's gonna take teamwork. You're gonna move really slow. You're gonna have a whole lot of apexes, tormentors. But I do got a couple more tricks up my sleeve that may just, you know what I'm saying, help you guys out. I know it helped me out. So let me know in the comments. Um, or grenades. So 
while we're doing this, as you can see, I would throw out my aura grenades. Um, to the left or the right side, to the east or to the west, however you want to say it, guys. And as you already know, the organade is a distraction. So instead of Arcane sitting there shooting at you, coming at you, trying to mess your game plan up, they will go make a beeline for the organade. And then you can dispatch them there, or you can just explode them then. So organade really helped us out. Like I said, I've done this 10, 11 times. And I've always equipped Oregon Aid, nothing else. You know what I'm saying, guys? I mean, that it works for me, fam. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, it works for you as well. And another thing, another cool trick. This is when, so yeah, I decided to hold, I decided to use it this time so I can get one of my studies done. And React Pistol, guys. The React Pistol. If you haven't used the React Pistol yet, that was from the Nightmare Fog event or Crisis event. As you can see, when you have the React Pistol and you shoot it at one of your teammates for a limited time, a very limited time, but you move quicker and you are indestructible for that limited time. I think it's like, uh, might be like 10, 15 seconds, but that is long enough to, you know what I'm saying, make a difference. Because like I said, notice how I move even quicker, even though I'm moving slow as pond water with this thing. And like I said, you're non-destructible when you have... Or when somebody uses that react pistol on you. So, that's another tip. Wait, there's more, fam. I got another one. <laughs> now, this helped me as well. I didn't do this, but maybe two or three times. But it did work. Claymores. Um, Claymore mines, as you can see, I would drop them right here. Um, I would drop those in between the... Uh, in the same path. And that worked as well. So, um, this is one of the... One of the studies here, this is just death marker. You have to use that death marker. Um, that's pretty much a, that's pretty much how you get that first that first one done where you have to actually use the death marker. So again, bounce a kill using the death marker, that'll be done. Uh, remarkable is um, remarkable, let's see. Yeah, that's completing everything without using the death marker. So you gotta do this. And not use it on any elites. I'll say that again. You can use it on anything except for the elites. And then that's how you get um, blind test done. And then, or remarkable done. Blind test is using the same operator, like I said. Contact free is easy. That one, you just had to basically not get any damage from the first airlock to the third airlock. Um, basically, you just... I treat it like the the acid sprawl or the green sprawl. I just don't let it touch me, and you'll get it done. But, yeah, guys, man, I mean, that's it, fam. I mean, that's what I did. Like like I said, if you got the boost um, active, I did boost on this one. Um, you only have to do this twice, and you'll get all studies done. If you don't have the booster, you got to do it three times, and you'll get everything done. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The other, so the vaporize, um, I'll go over that in another video because I want to point out some things about that recluse. I think it's called the reclusive harness, I believe it is. And, um, yeah, but I'll go through that in another video. I hope this helps you out. Yeah, guys, this one is really tough, fam. It is nothing to play with, guys. Maybe I made it look easy. I hope, I hope I didn't. You know what I'm saying, guys? <laughs> but yeah, fam. So hope you guys enjoy it. And if it helped you out, let me know in the comments. And stay tuned for the next video. See you guys on the next one. Peace.